Hey guys, welcome to Kurt's RPM Garage. And in today's video, we're going to be putting leather seats into my F-150. Mine's a Lightning, but this will work also on the ICE version. So XL, Pro, and XLT. They all have similar interiors. So what you can do is go on eBay. I got these, these are uh, leather takeoffs off a of Lariat. Probably a company upgrading the seats to, who knows, Carmel or some color for the client. So they take off these perfectly good seats and then they resell them basically. Uh, you can get them as cheap as about $200. However, those are gonna require some alterations. Uh, on the nicer versions of the trucks, especially in the back seat of the Super Crew, there is a full a armrest that kind of folds out. And on the cheaper versions, so XL, XLT, they don't have this. So you can either buy the version that, that has that gap, and then you'll need to take it to an upholsterer or do it yourself if, if you have that ability. Uh, or they do sell them on eBay where the, there, that is already patched and filled in by the company selling it. That, that's the route I went. Um, I, I can't show it to you right now because I actually already put in my back seat. I was kind of practicing on that. So we're gonna do some of the front seats together, just show you how it goes. This is very tedious work, but it's not super difficult necessarily. It's relatively easy to follow along. So I think I'm just gonna show you guys how to do one seat and then I'll kind of cut you loose. Uh, but for tools we're gonna need today, we have, uh, in my case, it was kind of dark last night, so I was using a flashlight. Then we have an impact driver. You don't necessarily need this, just our simple wrench will work too. Uh, and then as far as sockets, you need a deep 18 millimeter and then a 15, a 13, and a 10 millimeter. Plus a few extensions, there's some gaps that you need. And then we have a T30 torque bits, an assortment of picks, which are very useful. You'll see why later, put that over there. Uh, and then a couple screwdrivers, those flathead, and you'll need a Phillips head. Uh, this one goes on my impact, but a normal one will work just fine. So yeah, that's that. I think that's everything. If there's anything else we need, I'll mention it later on in the video. But yeah, let's get cracking. I'm gonna start by removing my front driver's seat and we'll get started on that. All right, so first things first, I would start in the rear seat. Look, like you can see, I've already actually done it. So what you'll need to do is get your 13 millimeter on these two screws up here, pull those off, same thing on the other side. And then we'll pull this down. Go back here, you're gonna have to take your jack out. So go ahead and do that. And then if you can see back there, once you do that, you could take, that is a 18 millimeter and you'll need a deep socket because it's quite a big bolt that sticks out. Another one on the other side, same thing on this one. And then there's an assortment of electronics. They're all for your seat belts. There's really not much, but there's two plugs down here. You just press the tab on the back and they pull right out. And uh, the wires are actually have a little retainer that just is clipped on to the metal bracket. You can just kind of pull that right off. So that's no problem. So go ahead and do that. Uh, take those bolts out and then, yeah, they should lift right out. These are relatively light. They're not powered. Uh, you can see I got a few wrinkles. I gotta get the heat gun and maybe take some of that out, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, so once you get that out, this one's a little bit heavy. This one's very light over here. So uh, go ahead and take those in. You'll want to take them to a workbench, but I'm going to jump ahead and go straight to my uh, front driver's seat. We'll take that one out now and I'll show you guys uh, how I did so it. So if we come into the driver's foot well, there's two little plastic covers. So we're going to get our screwdriver, get under it like right here. And then we're just going to pop that out. Do the same thing on the other side and then we should have access to our bolt down here. There is one uh, power uh, plug in here that goes into the floor. So we'll take these bolts out first and then we will uh, do the plug once we can get better access to it. Okay, so same thing on the back side. I think we'll just get under here, pop that right off. Then we'll go to the other one, same thing. Man, this one's giving me some trouble. There we go, give a little force if you have to. No problem. And I believe these are all 13 millimeter. Okay, next up, get a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, I'm using an electric ratchet, but obviously I normally want to work too. And then just go around and take these four out. Just take these four out and we'll go to the next part. Okay, once you got all those four bolts out, we're gonna take this and we're gonna lean it forward. 
then if you can see that little white plastic bolt that was actually attached to this wire i just pulled it down and it came out might have to give a little force and then here's our one uh plug that we have to undo i think i could take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pop that uh gray uh, plastic retainer over and once you do that it should come right out so i'm gonna do that i need both hands while i hold this up so i'll get that done and then i'll let you guys know if i ran into any issues okay no problem i took a flathead and basically just pushed on that retainer right in the center the black part and then pulled the other way and it came right out it was no problem at all so got that out i'm gonna haul this uh chair into my house and uh, we can work on it on the table all right got this thing in here so I definitely say start with the easiest first and work your way down. First things first, let's get this headrest off. We have a one button here, another like kind of hidden button right here. We'll press both of those, come right out. Then we'll go down here and find these zippers, take these all the way off, and then we'll start taking some clips off. All right, next up, we're gonna flip this chair over and we're going to need to take these little guys off. So if you're not saving this, uh, I may try and just resell it for a couple bucks, then you might as well just go ahead and cut these. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to, they're, they're basically just wrapped around this pin, so easiest thing to do is just pull these tabs, pull these out, and these will come right out. Um, after that, we'll come down to the bottom, and we'll go up to this fabric. This is just held on with like a plastic tab that's shaped like an, an, a, a J or something, so it goes like this and then it goes around something. So we can just kind of push this up, pull it out, and then that'll be that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll go to the next step. All right, looks like I was actually wrong on that last part. You actually do need to pull these out from here so you can unplug them and then pull them out. Uh, definitely have something like this. Uh, if you work on modern vehicles, you definitely wanna have something like this. This is a pry tool for these clips. So you can kind of just hook it in there, get it in and then pry on it and it should pull these right out. They're just plastic. Try not to break them, but if you're gentle and uh, just gentle but firm, I guess is the saying, uh, should come right out. So get those out and then you can get this out and save it. So I'm gonna do that right now, then we'll go to the next part. All right, next up we're gonna remove these plastic panels. I've already kind of taken them off, but I'll show you how it's done. Um, unfortunately, Ford made me out to be a liar before. Uh, you'll also need a T20 from the looks of it uh, to remove these. Uh, they love just using different fasteners on everything. So you're gonna have one screw up here, and then there's gonna be another one. This piece is actually behind here, so the screw's gonna be there. So this is behind there, undo that, and then you gotta kinda unhook this and work it out. And then go to the other one. We are gonna have one here on the inside, and then this one goes right here, which is over there. So undo that. And then this one, it feels like it's still tight, like there's another screw, but you kinda just kinda wiggle it and work it, and, it's, and uh, eventually, shift it up and down and you'll get it to kind of pop off like this so that's that there is one fastener right here just push down the tab pull that out and this is off so after you've done that you can go around and start taking these tabs off like these like i said take those these this left side has a few uh, and then the right side i'm sorry this is the left side i got that mixed up some tabs there this is an easy one. And then I think we can start thinking about flipping this thing over. And I'm just doing one little double check. Yeah, let's, uh, this all is good. Yeah, there are a bunch of tabs in here kind of along this railing. I also took these off. So yeah, just go around and double check everything. If it feels tight somewhere, there's probably a tab. So let's do that and we'll let's flip it over and let's get these uh, other tabs off. So as we're saying on the back seat, you're definitely gonna need to undo a bolt here and take that off. It's just, impossible to do without it. This one, I don't think that's the case. So we can leave that on. And then there's the two retainers right here. I'm basically just gonna work this over. There's a hole in it, stretch it out enough just to work it over those. Uh, and then when I put it back here, it's just gonna be the reverse of that. So I'm gonna do that now and we'll keep going down. Okay, now we're on the front side. We get to the very annoying part. So we have this black little, uh, it's like a rail and then it fits in these tabs. I forget exactly what they call it. But you see these orange tabs, there's one here, here, and here, so there's three. And there's a bunch of these, these blue things that run through it. Um, anywhere you see like the ribbing, the, uh, I doubt that's one. It's probably just these three, basically. There might be one at the bottom too. So what you can do, again, if you're not gonna save this material or try and sell or anything like that, you can just cut this out 
until it's free. And then you can basically just take that blue, um, blue rail and just pull it right out. There's nothing holding it from going left to right. It only resists this way. But if you want to keep it, what I found is I take my pick, this guy right here, and let's see, you basically go in alongside it and then you basically just twist and that'll kind of push it free. And while you're doing that, you pull on this and it will unclip eventually. You may have to kind of wiggle it, work it out a bit, and that will keep the clip alive and uh, you can reuse it later and, uh, and un save this material if you want to resell it. So I'm going to do that. Um, it, it is worth noting, do not just yank on these things. These will, these tabs will rip out. If you don't care, that it is what it is, but if you want to make it look as factory as possible, you want to keep these in, so be very gentle. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to work on a few of these, keep it going, and then I'll check in in a minute. Before you get this too far along, you also need to remove your airbag. And to do that, there are two 10 millimeter bolts right here. So you got to zip those off and the thing should come right out. You're going to take this out and it's going to go into your new seat cover. So we definitely want to save that. So I'm going to do that now. All right, so I'm learning as I go along, but this part is going to need to slip that way. And what I'm seeing is we got some wires going through here. So this wire just comes over here and it's clip. It's uh, got a little clip going into the, uh, the frame of the chair. So I'm going to pop that out. And then there's a second one over here and I think that's it. So I'll just pop those two out. I should be able to just feed these through and we should be clear. Then I can pull this through and the top part at least will be off. All right, once you got that, this will just pull right through basically. So I have it right over there. And now we can start on the bottom, start working this thing up. Same thing, we, we, got, we got a little Velcro and then you can see those blue tabs right there. So I'll get my pick, start taking this one off and we are almost removed. I definitely say removing is the hardest part, but that's not to say installing is super easy either. So keep going at it and we'll be installing in no time. Okay, I got a little stuck as I was pulling um, the material through the bottom because it was kind of wrapped around the cushion. So what you have to do is fold the cushion and kind of pull it with you. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Probably not, but you, you need to bring the cushion kind of with you. So turn it over, do that. But there's also a wire going through it. So you have to unhook this. This is for your heated seats. So go down there, unhook this, snake this through, and then we are out of here. And we can start putting this thing back together. All right, so make sure you got your bottom piece correct. Everything matches. Um, I, I would start on the bottom because that's the, what we took off uh, last, basically. And so we're just working our way backwards. So first things first is I'm gonna work this thing through, get everything wrapped around. And then the clips is what you wanna start with. Definitely start with the clips um, after you get everything kind of situated, like this back piece, obviously, that has to go around um, that the wires and whatnot. So we'll get that done, then we'll do the clips. Then we can start kind of working the sides in and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna get to that. And then uh, the clips, how they work, uh, it's basically just that rail, you just basically snap them on, but it takes quite a bit of pressure. So you can do it from the top, it's quite difficult. If you can like fold over the sides and just push the clip in directly, that's your best bet. Make sure it's lined up and it should go in no problem. You'll hear a, a very loud snap. So that means you're good. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll let you guys know if I run into anything. Okay, once you got that the bottom piece on, just go around and start clipping these things back on. Uh, just a reminder, you need to like do like a 360 with these things to get them on the clip. They clip up, but they're, they seem to be facing the wrong direction. So you gotta really spin them, get it gets it really tight, and then you can come in there and clip it up. And you gotta go around and do all of them around the sides. And then once you do that, we can start with the upper piece. So the backrest, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do these holes first, and then I'm gonna come down, do these blue clips all around, tuck this, wiring, and the last thing I'm gonna do is zip them up. So start on that now, let's see where we get. Also, first thing you really should do is put the airbag in. Uh, it only goes in one way and just line it up with the holes for the bolts, do that, and then that's pretty simple. And then back to what I was doing. Okay, here we are with almost everything put together. Uh, after you do that other part, you want to do the headrest. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's just got some of those, uh, um, what do you call them? They're kind of hooked together on the back. Unhook those, slide the new the old one off, slide the new one on, and you're pretty good there. Zip it all up and you should be pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's just very tedious work. Nothing super difficult. Uh, your fingers will be very sore by the end. Uh, I got one more chair to do and then I'm done, but it's looking pretty good. So there's a few wrinkles here and there. I'm gonna take the heat gun and kind of uh, work some of these out, see if we can get, get this pretty fresh looking, but otherwise pretty happy with it, it looks great. Um, gonna button this thing back up with a few switches and uh, plugs, 
I'll tighten it down with a 13 millimeter on all four corners and this chair is done. Just got to move on to the last one and we're out of here. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.